Cloud Shell Editor makes it easy for you to write code directly in your web browser and deploy it to the cloud. Powered by the Eclipse Thea IDE platform, Cloud Shell Editor provides a rich experience that makes it easy for you to debug your applications before deploying to the cloud. In this video, we'll walk through an example of how to run and debug a local deployment of a Cloud Run service. Cloud Run makes it easy to deploy highly scalable containerized applications on a fully managed serverless platform. But before you deploy to Cloud Run, you may want to run your app locally to simplify the debugging process. First, visit ide.cloud.google.com to launch the Cloud Shell Editor. On the status bar at the bottom of your screen, click Cloud Code. From the Cloud Code menu, click New Application and then select the Cloud Run application for the type of sample app we want to create. After that, we'll get a list of Cloud Run templates to choose from. Let's go with the Node.js option. Next, select a folder in your Cloud Shell environment to save your application to and give it a name. If that looks good, click Create New Application. Cloud Shell Editor clones the files for your sample application from GitHub into a new workspace. You can see the list of files in the Explorer panel located on the left side of the screen. Now let's go ahead and run this application locally. From the Cloud Code menu, click Run on Cloud Run Emulator. In the Run Debug on Cloud Run Emulator dialog, you can choose your builder and adjust build and service settings. We'll leave everything as our default values for now. After defining your preferred settings, click Run. Right now, Cloud Code is spinning up an environment that emulates Cloud Run's production environment. You can monitor the progress of your application in the output window. You may need to click Authorize to authorize Cloud Shell to make Google Cloud Platform API calls. Once your app is built, you can launch it by hovering over the URL link displayed in the output panel and clicking Open Web Preview. Congratulations! If you see this page, that means you've successfully run your Cloud Run app locally. Once your service is running, there are some other options you can access from the Cloud Code status bar. You can open deployment logs, open this service URL, or turn watch mode on or off. With watch mode, Cloud Code continually watches the file system for changes to your files. If changes are detected, it will redeploy your application so that your edits are reflected in near real time. Once you're done, you can click the stop button to stop running your service. Now that you've learned how to develop locally with Cloud Run, let's take a look at how you can debug a Cloud Run application. Click the Explorer icon in the upper left to display all the code files. Let's double click on index.js to open it. Let's go ahead and add some code to the app's root directory. We'll create two variables and give them initial values. A third variable will be set to equal the sum of the first two variables. Finally, we'll increment the first variable. To add a breakpoint, just click in the editor margin of the file you're debugging. Once it's added, the breakpoint will appear as a red circle. We'll go ahead and add five breakpoints, starting with our first line of extra code. Now let's go ahead and run our service locally with the debugger session attached. From the Cloud Code menu, click Debug on Cloud Run Emulator. Next, press Enter to confirm that the application you like to debug can be found in the listed directory. Once you see the orange bar at the bottom, you are now in debug mode. Launch the app by hovering over the URL link displayed in the output panel and clicking Open Web Preview. Now go back to the Cloud Shell Editor window. You'll see that the application has paused at the first breakpoint, which is now a red dot outlined in yellow. In the debug sidebar, you can manage the debugging session with the debugging action icons. Continue, step over, step into, step out, restart, and stop. The debug sidebar also includes sections for you to view information about the call stack, variable values, and breakpoints. If we open up the local variables section, we see that our three variables start out as undefined. Let's go ahead and click the continue icon. This advances us to the next breakpoint. We see in the variables section that the value of foo has changed to five. If we keep clicking continue, the values of the other variables change as well. We can also hover over the variables in the code to see what their updated values are. 
In this case, the foo variable now equals 6 because it was incremented. Once we get to the last breakpoint, we can click continue to run through the rest of the program. Since there aren't any errors, this results in a functional web page. Once you're done, you can click the stop button to stop your debugging session. And there you have it. CloudShell Editor provides a full IDE experience that makes it easy for you to develop and debug all kinds of applications right from your web browser. To get started with CloudShell Editor, visit ide.cloud.google.com. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more CloudShell Editor videos.